guys it's me cookie jar today's video don't worry it's not just gonna be me standing in front of the mirror the whole time there's gonna be gameplay and graphics um today's video is gonna be how to get a successful gorilla tag youtube channel i'm gonna say a successful gorilla tag youtube channel is anywhere from 500 to 1000 subscribers so yeah let's go so to start off, I just want to say anyone can create a successful Gorilla Tag YouTube channel if they really try and like they put a lot of effort into it. You can't just like expect one to be successful if you just post something every like year or few months or so and like you put minimal effort into it and not even try at all. So yeah, let's get to the main part of the video. So the first topic I'm going to cover is thumbnails. Thumbnails are really important, especially like making them look presentable and like not like you just slapped it together in like 10 seconds you want to make a thumbnail look like something you would want to watch and like don't clickbait people but make it look fancy and like like a quality video because most people when they see the thumbnail that's the thing that makes them decide if they're gonna watch the video or not so thumbnails are like i'd say one of the most important things to um try your hardest on other than the video itself but yeah, thumbnails are like really important. I'm gonna show a few on the screen that I've made and some other big creators have made. So first off, we have a thumbnail that I made for my channel. It was about the new cosmetics for summer. I made sure to incorporate elements from the update and just like parts of my channel. For example, I put a picture of my gorilla tag character standing there and like holding up the sign. And I had a water slide and a tent and I made sure to make the background look good so that it like caught people's attention and didn't just make them click away immediately. Alright, the next thumbnail is Elliot. He's a really big YouTuber. If you don't know him, that's surprising. But yeah, you can tell they put a lot of effort into it. He made it bright and colorful. The background isn't like a custom background or anything, but it looks really nice because he polished it and like made it so that you can tell what's going on. And yeah, he just made it so that you can tell what he's doing in the video without even reading the title. You can just look at the thumbnail and immediately know what the video is going to be about. Alright, so for this final thumbnail, it's actually an example of what not to do. So you can see that this creator, he didn't even make a thumbnail. I'm not going to call them out because I don't want to embarrass them. But if they're watching right now, I'm not trying to like be mean or anything. You just need to like create a thumbnail. Even if it's like low quality, it would be much better than just a like random frame from the video because then people don't know like what your video is about and they have to read the title and some people nowadays are just too lazy to do that. So you probably could have gotten a successful video if you made a good thumbnail or like even a thumbnail at all. So yeah, just like really big thing, make a thumbnail because most videos like that, I don't even bother watching if like the person is too lazy to make a thumbnail or like think that it's not important because then usually the video isn't even that high quality either and they don't even edit it. So yeah. The second part is editing your videos. It's like the most important thing to do other than like making the video. And yeah, it's the most important thing to do because if you don't edit your videos, people will just click off because like people have really short attention spans nowadays. And yeah, if you don't like add sound effects or like add background music or whatever, like I'm doing in this video, people will usually click off and the videos that I put lower effort into the editing, they get way less views. If people click off of the video because like, they're not interested anymore because there's no editing. YouTube will see that and it will see that like they clicked off and it will think that it's not a helpful video. And so it won't push it out to as many people. And so less people will view it. And then your views will just like plateau at whatever they're at and you won't get like any more views. Also an important part of editing is adding subtitles to your videos so that like Whatever you're saying, if someone doesn't have their sound on because like it's late at night and they don't want to wake up their parents or whatever, they can just read what you're saying and they don't have to turn their volume up and then they can just like know what's going on without turning their volume up so then they'll stay on your video longer, your video will get pushed out to more people and more people and more people and you might even get a viral video just because you add subtitles. Alright, the third thing to do is make a video you would want to watch yourself. I kind of touched on this with the thumbnail, making a thumbnail that you would want to click on. But making a video that you would want to watch is really important because you, if you're in the Gorilla Tag community, there aren't like that many people in it compared to other communities. So like most of us share the same interests. So if you would want to watch it, chances are a lot of other people would want to watch the video. So make a video you think you would like to watch. Don't make a video that's just like, 
popular right now or like a popular topic because who knows maybe that trend could die by the time you finish editing your video and like all those videos that are like would you accept this offer you do not want to be known as the would you accept this offer guy because i made those videos for like a week sure they gave me a lot of subs but people were also like hating on my content just because of that it's not even worth it also include in this is use your voice don't use one of those ai voices or like the tiktok voice that's like really annoying because i did that for like my first month or two on youtube and it it just really brought me down it was weird because i couldn't do fan codes because i didn't know i i didn't want people finding out what my voice sounded like because i was like embarrassed because of it or something and like i just didn't want to reveal my voice but like after you get past that first video of using your voice, you're so comfortable with it already. And like, people don't even judge you because of your voice. Cause like, everyone just has a different voice and there's no reason in judging you for it. So like, use your voice because if people click on a video and it's just like the TikTok voice or whatever, they're not gonna wanna watch, trust me. The last thing you need to do is like, build a connection with your audience. And that means like, making community posts, making fan codes and stuff, no matter how big of a creator you are. I didn't do that for a long time after I started YouTube and after I did, it really helped me. But if you're gonna live stream, make sure to get like a good computer for live streaming because if you stream from your phone, I tried it and it is not good. You could get like, even like your parents computer or something and use it to stream because you don't need that much to run obs but like make sure it's a decent computer stream make community posts try to just like connect with your fans answer comments do video requests and stuff collab with people build like a strong community of your fans and like give your fans a name like for me uh, i'm about to start doing this in my next few videos i'm gonna call my fans cookies because like cookie jar vr all right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps you. I want you guys to comment. If you guys are gonna use this, I wanna, I'm gonna like subscribe to your channel, like keep track, make sure you're like doing all these steps so that you can improve and yeah, Autobots roll out.